Welcome back. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Yeah, I have no idea if I'm in frame, but let's hope this is, <laughs> I hope I'm close. Um, we're gonna do a little get ready, a little chatty get ready because I kind of realized I've never done one of these and I feel like to be a proper YouTuber, you have to. So with that being said, now that I'm a proper YouTuber posting this video, like, subscribe, and all that jazz. Let's get into it. Sorry, I'm wetting my beauty blender. Okay, let's first, let's put on some primer because I'm feeling dry and gross. Let's get it started. I have this from an Ipsy bag. It's a Porefessionals <laughs> hydrating thing. Let's do that. I only use like face primer from like Ipsy bags. I have that e.l.f. one, like the professional putty one. Anyways, I mean, I barely wear makeup anymore, so like I'm not gonna go out and buy, except I buy like a million eyeshadow palettes when I'm sad, um, but that's a different, that's for, you know, a different conversation. But how are you guys? How is everyone? How are we doing? So, you know, since I'm standing in my room alone talking to my phone, no one can answer. Um, I will go first. Um, <laughs> I'm going okay. Does anyone feel like that? Just okay. Like, you know, nothing more, nothing less. Just okay. All my foundations I literally think are so expired and I'm probably giving myself a disease, but this is the Super Stay Better Skin. Remember when this was just like a vibe on like YouTube and like this was like the obsession. Do they still sell this? I remember this was like a moment. Ooh, this is so expired. We're gonna put it all over my face still. We're almost at a year of pandemicness. How fun, right? Who would have thought? Not me. I don't know how I feel about it, obviously. Which I know a bunch of people have been making this comparison, but I just feel like I'm in Groundhog Day. You know, it's just the same day over and over again. And just the motivation to do things. I'm just kind of like, what's the point, you know? And I live in the Midwest, so we've been getting slapped with winter storms and it was like negative 17 today. So that's just dandy. Um, and we've just been getting slapped with it. So I just have no motivation to even like walk my dog or like go to the, like going to the gym now is like seriously so much effort, but I'm so sick of working out at home. I'm just so over it. Um, and I just am lost. And then it gets dark so early and whatnot, which I mean, that happens all of, you know, every year in the middle, you know, whatever. Let me use the elf hydrating. So I am like used to that, you know, and it happens every year, whatnot. Okay, that's fine. But, you know, because I work from home, I have no reason to like leave the house. So then I'm like, okay, now I gotta leave the house in the dark to go work out, which I don't even wanna do because I'm just so unmotivated. So it's just been kind of, I don't know, just like a weird year already. Because some years I would have a really bad stigma with the new, like, oh, it's a new year, must you lose like a million pounds. So I don't have that, I guess. So I guess that's good because sometimes that would be unhealthy for me. Like, But I felt like the last few years I was having a really positive association of like new year, better me. But now I'm just kind of like, what's the, you know, like, what is there to do? Just kind of feeling lost. And if you don't know this about me, I just actually graduated college yeah. in May 2020. Started like my career, my full time big girl job um, in June 2020. So, and I've just been working remote and doing that since then. So it's just been really weird. Because even part of me, like obviously that's a big life transition of like ending schooling and going to, you know, working full time. And I just was working from, I just started like schooling from home and then I just like 
basically change web browsers and now I'm working from home. So it's definitely a weird like life transition for me. But then also I feel like I didn't even like close the chapter of like college and schooling to just be working. Um, so that's just weird. Now I'm using the Cody Airspun thing. I'll show you the lid in a second. I'm using that. My skin's so dry, so that's really good. I'm using a dry powder, you know, that's a really good idea. I'm just kind of baking myself. I don't even know how to bake. I just kind of plop things everywhere and I hope for the best. I feel like there's like a bugger in my nose. How disgusting. I'm a little bit more on my forehead. My forehead has been like not cute recently. Oh, that's a lot, but that's okay. <laughs> to it and I just don't even know what to do next I'm just kind of brushing this all away patting it in even I just feel numb and like lost and obviously you know just finishing school and starting adulthood you're gonna feel lost but like especially now like I just don't know you know what's next you know spray my face with setting spray after I finish my base. That's my hack for long lasting makeup. Not that I'm doing anything or going anywhere, but um, yeah, that's all I got to say about that. And then this is a brow pencil I got from Ipsy. I like brow pencils like this with the two ends like that. I don't know. I don't know anything about brows. I kind of just brush through them and fill them in. I really I'm not a brow expert. But yeah, I've just been feeling very numb and not really knowing what to do. Or like kind of lost on like purpose of life, I guess. Which just kind of sounds very dramatic and dark, but not don't, not that serious. But it's just been weird and that is for sure. See, I mess up my eyebrows and I just go rub it all off. And that's why I felt I've I've, I've loved YouTube my whole life. I don't know if I really talked about like why I started a YouTube channel, but I've loved YouTube my whole life. It's just so fun. I love like connecting with people on like a, you know, you get to see them on their real day and like, you know, it's like real time when they post or whatnot. Say like the Kardashian reality show, they'll post like, you know, months later while this is like, it could be them last week, what they were doing, even a day before. So I've just always loved YouTube and I love, you know, kind of the realness of it. Obviously, like some things are fake and staged and whatnot, but I still, you know, I've always loved YouTube and I was always wanting to make a YouTube channel, but I was always like scared, um, you know, of like creating it, setting it up and then, you know, having to edit videos and film videos and being consistent and all this stuff. But now I'm just kind of, you know, and then I was also scared of like people finding out about it and making fun of me or like whatever. But now I was just like, okay, screw it. You know, I've wanted this for so long. I'm just going to do it. So I'm happy I did it. But now I'm just like, what do I even film or talk about? You know, I just wake up every day. I work and that's about it. I don't even really work out anymore, which I feel really like sad saying that because I used to love working out and I just feel very, you know, lost for like passion. I don't know. Let's try this wild. If you don't know, it looks like this guy. She cute. Oh, I could take this thing off. I'll just leave it. But I think I'm going to do a video of all my um, eyeshadow or my, I've been buying a lot from ColourPop. Whoops. Uh, it's been my coping with life. I don't know. I just love eyeshadow palettes and ColourPop is a good deal and they have so many sales all the time. I'm using this spotted one. It's a transition shade right now. And these are BH brushes. I like those. Oops. Just realized my eyebrows everywhere. But yeah, how are you guys coping with it? You know, it's like things I used to love too. But like, I just, I'm like, I don't, why? You know? And even like working out, you know, you always like feel better after you work out. I'm just kind of like, yeah, it was good. But like, you know losing motivation for it all and just get really getting that fatigue of it um I don't know and I've been working since June and now it's February and I've literally like not met anyone at this company I work at and 
and it's a big like corporate company and I like don't know anybody and I still you know and I moved to an area where we like where I don't know anybody so that's just weird because like I don't know anybody I've never really even seen the faces of people I work with all the time so that's just I wonder like what the psychology of you know and I know it's not just me and I have a job so I'm very thankful for that but I like wonder like what's the psychology of that or like even like kids you know like not being able to like make friends and whatnot I don't know very interesting because I still feel mentally like I'm a college student basically because I you know I haven't had a closing of a chapter it's like basically I like dated a boyfriend for like four years and then they ghosted me that's how I feel like with college they just ghosted me and I got no closure no final goodbye no crying breakup scene it just literally got ghosted and I was like college that was four years what did you just do that's so sad so I don't know this is kind of probably a mess of me trying to explain and I do have it a lot better like I know like my whole family has been super healthy and we haven't been you know and like all of our jobs have stayed what ow I just poked my eye out how dramatic should we go for my living room Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna try. I tried this fierce shade already. Forgot I've already like used this. Maybe I should use fierce as this one. Um. So I used spotted, and then I used what's this one? Ground crew to deepen. Did a really good job. I really like this color scheme on me. That makes the color whatever. Um. Whatever. Is this warm? Is that considered warm tone? I don't really know. Um, should I just go crazy and put lashes, this darker one? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Why not? I see no opposing viewpoints. That was a lot of words. Okay, I'm gonna use this Jeffree Star Morphe brush. She got some fallout. Is this a pressed glitter? Difference. I didn't want to use my finger, but I kind of think I have to. <sighs> Here we go. It's probably a shadow I need to like cut my crease on. Fun fact, I've never cut my crease in my life and I don't really know how, but I'm like convinced I'm an expert at it. And I'm like, girl, you've literally never done that. Like, how could you go around saying that? But, oh no, now I just look like a child who played with glitter. No! Not the glitter child. Okay, actually, if I sweep this away, I think we'll look significantly better. I think. They're all down my face and I can't get it off, but like, whatever. Looking like a mess is kind of fun, right? I heard that's a trend. No, just me? Okay, that's fine. Someone has to do it, right? Now I'm just taking the spotted and the two I put in my crease and just running out on my lower lash line. I never put shadow on my lower lash line until like a year ago. Wow, changes things. You know, you look just so much more cohesive. Who would have thought, you know? Actually, I don't hate this as much as I thought I would. Have been buying makeup? Have you not been? Because, you know, pandemic and saving money, which is smart. I have just been buying ColourPop makeup mainly, which... I don't know. I like will do really because I don't spend money on anything because I never go out. I never do anything. I get groceries, obviously, um, but I don't buy anything. I haven't been buying clothes. I literally can't tell you. I bought like I'll buy some clothes at Walmart. I put like a Walmart haul. Besides that, that's literally I haven't bought anything else in forever. Um, but yeah, I'll buy some. I've been buying ColourPop stuff just for funness, but. Um, just to have something to do. Other than that, I really haven't been buying makeup. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna do eyeliner. Eyeliner completed for the top. And of course, using my Dollar LA Colors from Five Below or whatnot. Or Dollar Tree store. Dollar store? And now I'm gonna use my Dollar, whatever you call it, Sweat and Wilds pencil. Lower lash line here. Eyes done. They look smoky. Well, I gotta do mascara, so like calm down for a second, but it's definitely not the best eye look I've ever done because I didn't realize how like that was a pressed glitter. 
Like I thought it was more of a, um, what do you call it? A super shock or something. I don't know what I was thinking, but it's fine. It will do. It will do for my living room. But I actually, for Christmas, I got this. Let me show you. Wazam. Look at how pretty that is. It's so pretty. Really enjoying it and it smells so good. Never had a physician's formula butter bronzer because I was like, this is so, it was $15 and I'm like the butter bronzer, which like is not that much. I don't know why I'm like, ah, oh, it's too much to spend. But I don't know. So I just have never bought it. But my mom got me this, which how fun. I'll rub it all over. But yeah, the smell, I didn't know that was like, I mean, everyone talks about it in their YouTube and like that's everyone's like holy grail, whatever. But I've just never, I don't know. Didn't put two and two together, I guess. In conclusion, I guess I just feel a little lost for life a little, which sounds also dramatic, but I feel like everyone feels that way though, you know? But I think, tell me if any of you guys are experiencing this too but since we've been in this like pandemic for so long I felt like in like you know March April May June everyone was like yeah your mental health like take breaks like this is so hard like you know we believe in you like and now I just feel like it's like work <laughs> like work it's fine get better like we've been doing this for so long like get over it and I feel like I'm like relapsing in how much I don't like this. Um, and realizing like, I'm getting like re like, oh wow, this is scary, this is like insane. Like what is going on? But I feel like everyone else is like, um, yeah, get over it. We've been, you know, doing this for so long. Like, how are you not over this right now? Um, new normal, whatever. Which I don't want to hear unprecedented times again. I never want to hear those words together ever again. But I don't know. Just I felt like everyone was like, oh, yeah, so much more understanding. Um, and now everyone's just like, yeah, that's what it is now. And I'm like, how is everyone just okay with this? I don't know. Am I crazy? Probably. What do you guys think? Has your like work or school been like not like less lenient but just you feel like everyone else in your life has just gotten kind of over it and used to it and you're kind of like feeling stuck or do you feel like you're used to it now and people need to get over it I'm just having a hard time like wanting to do things to better myself I guess or like you know I just kind of work and then I take talk and like that's it. <laughs> I sleep and I eat, but you know, and I like eating healthy and I'll eat like some healthy foods, but you know, like going on walks, like caring about calling my friends and putting the effort in for, you know, like YouTube, like a hobby of mine or, you know, different other hobbies. I don't know, lost in that sense, I guess. Sorry, I keep looking over here. I probably am like, you know, like, maybe stop looking to the side the whole entire video. While I am. That's what me editing is yelling at me right now. Yeah. Ew, weird faces. What stage of pandemic are you in? <laughs> are you in over it phase? Everything's fine? I like to know. Or, you know, I feel like I'm in a relapse phase of like what's happening. I feel like kind of how I did in May last year. Cause March I was in, oh, this is great. I get classes off for two weeks. April, denial. May was like, what's the point of life? Like what is happening right now? And then June was more, I guess kind of excited again you know, for life and whatnot, and like it was getting nicer weather, and I started my job, and I was like, yay, excitement, you know, and summer was like okay, because you can like do things outside, but now it's like negative, like I said, like today was negative 17, like I'm not 
no motivation. It's only like light outside for like eight hours it seems. So that's also hard. With being pitch black and negative 17, it's not like, oh yeah, let's go on walks with my doggy. So I know I want another dog so bad, but that is not gonna help my problems. Um, even though I'm telling myself it would. But I do love rescuing doggies. I probably put so much mascara on for like the average human being, but oh well. You guys try that Maybelline Sky High thing? Maybe I should do a TikTok viral makeup trend. I haven't, I don't really have that many. And more excuse to buy makeup. That's a really good point. I should note that. I got this set. This was part of the, um, ooh, I don't know. This is called Fab. This is one of their sets. It might have been the Big Poppy set or it was the Wild Child set. I don't remember, but these two were together. This is Fab and then this one's just lippy pencil and so happy very neutral. Can I say though, I, I don't really understand lip pencils and I'm like trying to get better at them. Like I'm like, what's the point of lining your lips? How does this, do you like twist this or? Is it, do you sharpen it? Do you cream? I don't know, okay. Let me, I put lip balm on because my lips were so dry. I actually like these lippy sticks. Um, oops, okay. They're actually not, I thought these were gonna be super drying. Uh, so like, why would I buy it if I thought that? But I wanted to give it a try because I liked the, I like these kind of applicators and they're actually pretty not drying. They're pretty light and moisturizing on the lips. And this is one of the Luxe glosses, which I love the lip oils, but I was feeling like being glossy. It's kind of the look, but I'm going to brush through my eyebrows. I got like full glam. I look, yesterday was Valentine's Day and my makeup did not look this cute. And my hair, this is second day hair because I curled my hair yesterday. I mean, it looks kind of ratchet for sure, but cuter today. And I feel like my makeup looks even cuter today. Um, and it's not Valentine's Day now, so that's kind of sad. My hair looked so greasy yesterday. I'm trying to get better at not washing my hair every day, and I feel like the second day hair looks so greasy, but then when I go to third day hair, it like doesn't look as greasy, and it gets like volume. I mean, it does get kind of gross, but I guess that's it, everyone. That's my get ready with me, my chatty get ready with me learned a little bit something about me so I'm wearing sweat I'm wearing sweatpants and slippers let me give you my outfit the old sorority shirt from college so that's good sweatpants and slippies and I have a full glam moment right now <laughs> I love that though I love being comfortable and just being like here up like glamour <laughs> yeah so thanks for staying around watching um, like subscribe if you made it this far um, but yeah, I'm wishing you guys all the best and I challenge you today to go, you know, I was just like sitting on my couch and like feeling sad, <laughs> but I was like, let's go out, let's put some makeup on, do a little video, do a little chit chat and you'll feel better. And I do feel better. So whatever that activity is for you, doesn't need to be like working out or, you know, eating healthy. I mean, it can be, but you know, it could just be reading, taking a walk, journaling, I don't know, calling a friend, so stuff like that. Making tea, that's always a fun activity. New recipe, that's a good one. It doesn't even need to be healthy, just a new recipe. But thank you guys for sticking around and let's get through this pandemic together. Pandemic buddies? <laughs> but bye guys.